<laughs> me and Justin. Oh, a little funny story I have for you guys. Okay, me and Justin were at an Airbnb, right? For those that don't know, me and Justin got flown out to Canada for this sponsored trip. We went out to downtown Toronto. We were having a good time. We took the bus home and it was three in the morning and then we got dropped off at the bus station that we were gonna Uber to our Airbnb from. After we ordered the Uber, we were with another friend. It was me, Justin, and our friend Rosie. Rosie ordered the Uber. Rosie was like, you wanna split the Uber? It's gonna be like 20 bucks. Justin was like, yeah, sure. Let me pull out my wallet. Pulls out his wallet. No wallet. That's funny. Check your pockets, Justin. He goes, okay. Checks his pockets. No wallet. Now, this is a little concerning right now. I'm like a little like, Justin, you can't lose your wallet. That has your ID in it. And you can't go to another country without your ID. At this point, we're pretty much almost confident that Justin lost his wallet. And we were like, do you think he left it in the bus? And then I remember Justin pulled out his wallet on the bus. He left his wallet on the bus. Soon as the Uber comes, we get into the car and we're like, yo, we might need a new destination for you. Is it okay if you drive to the last station that this bus is going to? And he was like, um, okay, I could do that, but you might have to change on the app. And we're like, okay, okay, no worries. Can you do that for us? He was like, sure thing, my friend. He starts driving and we're stressing because not only is this a, a Balenciaga wallet, but it's a wallet that his sister gave him. So it was was very sentimental to him so I started getting stressed we chase down the last station that this bus is going to right the uber driver is driving 40 miles per 40 kilometers per hour my bad 40 kilometers per hour in a 40 kilometer an hour road who drives the speed limit? That's my question. Oh, and in my entire life, have I met someone that has driven 40 in a 40? Like at least 41, you know? And I was like, hey, man, I'm sorry to rush you, but we really got to get going. This is really urgent. And he was like, okay, okay. I'll try to speed up my best, but I can't get a ticket. And I was like, yo, if you get a ticket, I'll pay for it. He starts driving. I'm like, hey, what's your name, by the way? He's like, my name is Mandeep. I was like, okay, Mandeep, you can, uh. It's okay if you drive a little faster. He's like, okay. Canadians drive the speed limit. Is that a thing? I would, I, I always drive like 85 and a 65. Anyways, maybe that's just a California thing. But I'm like, yo, do you think you can drive a little faster? Mandeep goes, okay, my friend. He drives 41. 41 miles per hour. Four, kilometers per hour, my fault. Kilometers per hour. One kilometer faster in that hour. Okay, anyways. So we're stressing at this point because we're like, if we miss this bus, we will never get that wallet again because it's the last stop and the bus will stop running because it's three in the morning. And the last station happens to be 25 miles away from our Airbnb. Eventually, we keep driving. A raccoon jumps in front of the fucking car and we almost hit it. Rigby. We he slams on the brake. We're stressing and we almost fly. He starts driving again and we're like, yo, Mandy, this is an adventure. He's like, yeah, my friend, I'll never forget this. Neither will we, Mandy. Neither will we. As he says that, we see in the distance a red light that is moving. And we're like, okay, I see a car that is on the move. What could that mean? I looked a little closer. It's a pretty big car. I'm like, Mandy, that's the bus. That's the bus right there, Mandy. I see it with my own eyes. And he's like, Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mandy! I asked him, hey, what's your favorite movie? My favorite, uh, my favorite movie is, uh, Fast and the Furious because I love how they're driving really fast, Mandy. I love how Fast and the Furious, they drive really fast. It's really inspiring. Doesn't it make you want to drive a little faster, Mandy? He goes, oh, oh, no, no, not really, my friend. <laughs> Mandy, you're fucking pissing me off. The bus takes a right. We take a right. Yes, I actually said that. I wanted Bro to know that I love Fast and the Furious for the reason that they are driving fast. And he was not driving fast. I did. I said, yo, you think we can drive a little faster? We eventually see the, the, the bus. It's in our sight. It's so close. The bus makes a stop. We make a stop. I go, Mandeep, we'll be right back, brother. He goes, okay. Good luck, my friend. I look at Mandeep. I go like this. I sprint towards the bus. Me, Justin, and Rosie. We go inside the bus. I sprint to the back while Justin's explaining to the bus driver why I just sprinted into the bus. And I see nothing more than Justin's beautiful Balenciaga wallet that his sister gave him for his 18th birthday with everything still in it. As soon as I found it, I picked up the wallet. I put it up to the sky and I said, Justin, look. We hug. We're in the bus at 3.30 in the morning. We, just, we start hugging. We start celebrating. And we walk out of the bus. We're like, thank you so much, bus driver. What's your name? He goes, my name is Eugene. And we're like, thank you, Eugene. Thank you. We go out. We're sprinting. We're running around this tri this bus station, this bus stop. We're sprinting, doing laps, celebrating that we finally found this wallet. Justin goes back to Mandeep. 
and goes, hey, this is the least I could do. And tips him 60 bucks. After that, we're like, okay, we got the wallet. How the f fuck are we getting home i don't want to buy another uber you know how expensive that shit was so we're like okay as we say this the bus driver eugene comes out and he goes hey uh you guys need a ride home do we do we now yes we do yes we do eugene and he's like oh okay i could do that for you guys eugene no nah, you shouldn't have he goes yeah let me just call my manager make sure it's okay call we're looking at mendy he's looking back at us and we're tapping our feet waiting for eugene to get off the phone eugene goes yeah it's all good to go all right i can take you guys we go mendy it's been an honor to not only be in your car but to be on this adventure with you mendy i love you we walk into the bus the bus is quiet the bus lights are off because it's not in service and we're sitting down on this bus thinking that we just fucking did it we just fucking did it the thing that everyone doubts the thing that we all said was impossible we single-handedly found his wallet we got home around four o'clock in the morning we showered and then we went to sleep yeah what a fucking adventure that was